Now, the other thing I found out that the more highly hypnotizable a person is, the more likely they are to have problems because of their own self-talk. I spend a lot of time with my clients on how do you talk to yourself? How do you visualize yourself? How do you allow yourself to make the changes in your life? So there's a part of your brain called the cortex. That's this part, the thinking part. And it also has all of those things that have happened in your past. And when you think of your past, the brain doesn't know you're thinking about your past. As far as it's concerned, it's happening right then. If you want to get an example of that, just think about eating a lemon and how it makes you feel right here. How eating that lemon changes biochemical and physiological responses in your body. So the brain thinks you're actually eating the lemon. So one of the things we have to teach people to do is how to live in the present. Because every thought of the past is going to create and release those chemicals in the brain that had to do with that sensation, whether it be happy, whether it be sad, whether it be hurtful or harmful or chronic pain, it's going to bring those same sensations back. Try it. Think about something that somebody has done to you that made you angry. And the chances are you probably started feeling that anger again. So I work with a lot of forgiveness. I work with a lot of letting go of guilt. These are the things that when you get into it with these people, they start changing who they are. Whatever a client is thinking when you're giving suggestions is going to override your suggestion. So giving the right information, getting the right information from the client are the things that you want to be able to do in order to have a good rapport, but mainly in order to know how do you speak to the client.